Hello, this is Guy7, and today we're going to look at some Nitro tools here. Now you all hopefully remember Nitro Studio, and now I'm just going to give a quick preview of like the installer and the portable. Now the portable version is exactly what it says. It's a zip file. Yeah, it's just kind of like how I did it before. And over here is the installer. And what this will do is install Nitro Studio. So I'm just going to show you how to install and uninstall Nitro Studio for this tutorial. Install is pretty self-explanatory, but uh, uninstall can be confusing if you don't know how to do. So anyways, it's just an unrecognized app because I made it, so it doesn't really recognize the app. And yeah, you're going to need to give it administrator permissions, or you don't need to if you're installing it to a documents folder. But if you do though, no matter what you do, it'll install shortcuts to your start menu. While this note do here does hold true, a Nitro updater will need admin privileges to actually work if you have it in a program files folder. Nitro Studio will also need those admin privileges for anything related to streams or SSC or SSCQ to MIDI or MIDI to SSCQ. That you have to know, but if you install it to a document folder or whatever, it doesn't really matter, and you won't need those admin privileges. But you just click the one click install button, and it will install Nitro Studio. May take a few seconds, but don't worry, it'll do its thing. You should get a notification that installed, and then it'll exit. Now, if I look over here, I have a Nitro Studio installed, and I can run it. Now remember what I said, and if I actually go to the documents and uh, use this one and try to play a stream file, it will say that access is denied because you actually need to run it with admin privileges in order to extract the stream data or SS or use the SSEQ to MIDI stuff. But if I go back now, it you can see that it can play the streams and all, like it should. And that's basically all you need to know about the new Nitro St Studio installer. The same thing goes to when you're doing anything with MIDI files as of now. And uh, now it's time to show you how to uninstall Nitro Studio. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but here you go. First thing is first, delete the desktop shortcut because you won't need any more. And I don't have an uninstaller or know how to make exactly one like a regular application, so you just kind of have to do this process. And you go to Nitro Studio, open the file location, and you can see the start menu applications here, and open the file location for that. And now here, you can go back and delete Nitro Studio. Continue. Now it probably won't let me go back, yeah. So, but the start menu applications will still be there, even though I deleted the actual Nitro Studio. If I try to launch it, though, it'll, like, give me that. But you can delete the shortcut for that way, but what I like to do is go into open the file location and delete these two shortcuts. And that's basically it. You have just uninstalled and uninstalled Nitro Studio. I'll see you again later.